Hello interweb, my name is Daniel. Um, I'm making this video to show you a pumpkin that I carved for the MLS uh, Pumpkin Carving Contest 2011. Um, they put up my picture on their Facebook page and immediately people started crying Photoshop. So I promised I'd make a video. It's a little late, sorry, but this is when I had the time to do it. And uh, not only did I sh want to show you the pumpkin, but I thought I'd one-up and show you how I made the pumpkin. So if you dare, you could try to do it yourself sometime if you have the guts. So, um, this is a foam pumpkin. You're going to need one of these. You're obviously going to need a pattern. You're going to need um, glue, uh, school glue, white school glue. You're going to need a razor blade. A good camera if you want it, your picture to turn out well. Um, and then the setup to light the pumpkin. So, um, this is a craft pumpkin. You can get these at, I bought mine at Michael's. They retail for about 20 bucks, but they always do half off sales or they have their coupons for half off. So it should cost you around $10. They only do it during uh, Halloween season. But it's uh, a hard foam. Um, these are real nice because if you do a really in-depth pattern like this one, um, it's going to last you forever unless you treat it bad and let it go to waste. So it is just a thin shell um, of foam. So the next thing you're going to need is a pattern. Here is the picture that I took. It's from community photographer RSL Bose. Props to him for taking the awesome shots from last year's campaign. Uh, I really liked this picture because I wanted to put Javi's name um, on the pumpkin. I didn't know really how to do that well and I obviously wanted his face. So this was a good compromise. It only had half his face but it did have his name. I liked the composition. Threw it into Photoshop, started working with it and it worked out. Of course I added the 11 from his jersey and the crest um, from RSL. So what you're going to do, if you do extreme pumpkin carving, you have three shades. Black cuts all the way through. Gray um, is just shaved the skin right off of the pumpkin, but you leave the flesh. And then anything you don't touch is uh, just left alone. So it's going to be black, this is going to be a middle tone, and then this is going to be your bright, uh, brightest tone. So um, that gives you uh, three colors to work with. You can do more, I've never done more, but you would just layer how far deep you cut into the skin. So now to get this onto the pumpkin um, is where most people get confused. And uh, But the best way really is to use school glue. You uh, slather this thing front and back with Elmer's glue. You're going to throw it up on the pumpkin, find the best surface, and you just lay it on and uh, get it as close up to the pumpkin as you can. Get all of the air bubbles out, get it into the creases the best you can. Work it on there until there's no air bubbles at all. You let it dry and then that is stuck on the pumpkin. Now, I do this for real pumpkins and fake pumpkins. On real pumpkins it's nice because again you have the pattern, it's stuck on there, it's not going anywhere. Um, but when you cut into a real pumpkin it starts to bleed. Um, the water comes out of the pumpkin and if you don't have anything on it, it kind of just turns your paper to mush. This at least, um, school glue at least will kind of uh, waterproof it a little bit um, and help um, from it turning to mush. Then literally 98, 95% of everything I did was with a razor blade. You're going to trace every single line, all the little details trace it all white or excuse me the uh, gray the black you pretty much are tracing this pattern onto the face of the pumpkin and then um, as soon as you get that all traced out and you start prioritizing what do I want to do first I started with the really thin lines the good detail right around his face because I just wanted to start with the hardest first and pump it out uh, and then you start cutting out I like to do the cut out first um, and it's all done by razor blade and then literally I mean for this part here on the O um, the R and the A where you get into thin detail and then up here I went down really deep but not deep enough to go 
through because then that would fall out so it would look like it's cut through. I used a little Dremel tool, but everything else was all razor. So, um, obviously you need a good camera, take a picture, and then this is part of the pumpkin setup. Uh, let me turn this on so I can uh, start charging the halogen light. It needs to charge up. This craft uh, socket, $5 Home Depot. It is a candelabra base. I think that's what you call it, the smaller. Um, the light bulbs candelabra also. That's th about $3, so $3, $5, and then $10 for the craft pumpkin. So about $18, and then um, just the value of time. So without any more waiting, let's show you the pumpkin. I guess while I'm showing you the detail, I should let you know that I actually, this was in the making, so I wanted to do this ever since um, Javier went down with his injury in May. Um, everybody was kind of doing things for him to show support, and I wanted to do this. I didn't think he'd be playing again by now, but lucky for us he is. And um, just a happy coincidence that MLS was doing their pumpkin carving contest right in the middle of when I was doing this. I found out about it and said, heck, why not? So, but the idea is to give this to Javi himself. I've kind of been into contact with him. When he's got some free time, we'll get it to him. And he can do whatever he wants with it. Um, put it in his kid's room for a night light or throw it up in the attic for all I care. But um, it's his to do with whatever he wants. So let's light it up. I thought I'd show you a couple of the other pumpkins I've done. This was the first fun pumpkin I ever did several years ago now. Captain Jack Sparrow. This is not my pattern. It's a pattern I get got on the internet. It's not the right base, so it doesn't want to sit on there. Turned out pretty good. This is also another one. A uh, halo pattern that I did. Not my pattern, excuse me, but I carved it, obviously. So the nice thing is if you're going to do a really in-depth, detailed pattern like this, if you do it on a foam pumpkin, it's the way to do it because then it never goes bad. So there it is. All lit up and beautiful. You'll see the cutout areas are bright. Shaved areas are your translucent color. And then your where you have the skin left on is going to be black. So. And then here, this is the only exception to the rule. I went really deep down on this. So give you the illusion when you're further back that that's all the way through. Um, but it's still connected there. Same thing here. I just kind of, with this O, oh, it's so delicate that I wanted to get the shape. And I just kind of worked it until I thought I didn't want to go any further to compromise the strength of that part. So there it is. Anyways, if you have any questions, um, let me know. Um, it's a lot of work, but uh, if you have the time to do it and uh, you get a good pattern made, it's uh, well worth your time. Um, side note, uh, Real Salt Lake kicks Seattle out of the playoffs tonight. Go Real, but I just wanted to give a credit to Casey Keller wonderful career um, sorry that you had to be kicked out but uh, it was my team so I'm not gonna cry about it but you had a wonderful career props to you for uh, for an awesome career and putting a goalkeeper on the map from the United States so yes doing something like this may be crazy but uh, don't doubt my passion it's hard to understand the passion of a uh, true Real Salt Lake fan, I guess. But I bleed red. Next year, hopefully, uh, the pumpkin I make will have two stars instead. New York, L.A., whoever it is, bring it on. Let's do this.